Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 26th of December. I do hope you had a lovely Christmas day. And as we make our way into this next week, which begins with St. Stephen's Day, or Boxing Day as it's called here in the UK, you still have some sparkling alliances going on between Uranus and Jupiter and Venus, the planet of attraction. And it could be someone who's very left field, very different, who's really drawing you to them. But you're going to have a lot of magnetic energy too. And the electrical sparks that are arcing around the heavens at the start of this week can certainly lead to some fascinating encounters. Your ruler does continue to twist backwards, but is alongside uh, the sun in the first three days of this week. This can see you grappling with some financial issues, but it also can give you a touch of ingenuity. And if you are trying to formulate some plans for next year in terms of your New Year's resolutions, finding a stage, a platform for your creativity, I think is going to be a huge part of this for you. If you're someone who tends to be a more practical type of Gemini, and you like to use your mind more in drier ways, then this week's new moon, which occurs on Thursday, still gives you an opportunity to express yourself because it's forging a fantastic alliance with Mars, which itself is alongside Neptune. If whatever you do in some way helps other people, it can be very gratifying to you. Your Personality power can be a big part of this, but also you can find yourself being very passionate about what you want to do. Sometimes people accuse you of being a bit airy-fairy, of jumping from situation to situation, which I always think is hugely unfair. You can't help the fact that you can get on with a huge spectrum of different people. But this is a time when you can come across as being really quite serious and also profound about some of your ambitions for the coming year. So do embrace them. Take your ideas seriously. However, Uranus, the planet of restlessness, which has itself been tracking backwards for five and a half months, starts to go forwards also from Thursday. This is a real helpful thing because Uranus is also still forging a very stable alliance with Saturn, and Saturn's in your sector of relating. It's possible that in a long-standing relationship, some new approaches or new insights are needed in order to make it work quite as well as it could do. So some kind of evolution needs to occur, not quite so much revolution. So if there is something or someone you're involved with that essentially works at some level quite well, don't give up on it. Keep showing your passion. Jupiter, the planet of growth, is in a wonderful location for you and can see you really come across to people in a very dramatic and warming way. And that can have a very positive impact, even on a relationship which hasn't been doing so well. But communication, clarity of communication, and a solidness of approach is going to be important too. As this week draws to a close, I wish you a very happy new year. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.